Hello everyone. In this, we will start with chapter 10, which is related to circles. Consider a circle and a line PQ. Then there are three possibilities. Means one is the circle and the line are not touching each other. Means it is not at all intersecting. So you call this as non-intersecting. Another one is this line can intersect the circle uh, with at two points here and here. Uh, which is lying on the top of the circle, then we call this as secant or the line will just touch the circle at a single point. Here we are calling that point as A. Then we call this line as a tangent. Now a theorem, the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Means uh, we are considering the circle here as this as the circle and O is the center of the circle, then this OP becomes the radius and we are considering the tangential line XP here. So we need to prove that, to prove that OP is perpendicular to XY. So if I have to prove OP is perpendicular to XY, then any other point on this XY, if I choose any point on this XY, uh, that point should be larger than this OP. Means I need to prove that OP is the shortest. Then I can say that OP is perpendicular to XY. So let us consider some point Q on this XY. Then let us draw OQ. Now we may clearly notice that OQ is greater than OP. This is applicable for any point we put on this XY apart from P. That means we can say that OP is the shortest. Which means that OP is perpendicular to XY. So that is the proof of this theorem. Let us move on. Uh, number of tangents from a point on a circle. Suppose if I consider a point P inside the circle, then you may not get any tangent. There is no tangent possible which is passing through this point because everything becomes secant here at this point. This also becomes secant, secant this also becomes secant, this also becomes secant. That is case one. Now, if I put one point on the circle, on the circle somewhere here, then there is only one tangent possible that is very clearly visible. If I put two points on the circle like here T1 and T2, then there are exactly two tangents uh, to a circle from a point outside the circle. From here, if I draw, there are only two tangents possible. Let us go to the next theorem, theorem 10.2. Here we need to, I mean, the theorem is the lengths of tangents drawn from a from an external point to a circle are equal. Means P is the external point. From here, uh, you are drawing two tangents. One is this, one is this. We need to prove that to prove PQ is equal to PR. That is what we have to prove. Now, uh, if we join this, uh, after we draw this, we are joining all this means PO, OQ and OR, all these things are joined. So now we may notice angles OQP is 90 degrees and even angle ROP or ORP. O R P that is also 90 degrees because we know we already saw in the theorem that this is a perpendicular means OQ is perpendicular to this tangent and O R is perpendicular to this tangential line. So on that basis I can say in right angles in or I will say O Q P ORP 
OQ is equal to OR because both are radius. Both are considered to be radius. Now, right angle to triangles, sorry. Right angle triangles, OQ equal to OR, that is one. Then, common side is OP. Common, I can say. Therefore, we will conclude uh, triangle OQP is congruent to P, which means that PQ should be equal to PR. So this is based on RHS congruence. So this will become now CP based on CPCT. This is one way of proving it. Another way is we can use Pythagoras theorem to prove this. So using Pythagoras theorem, we can say uh, OP the square should be equal to OQ square plus PQ square in in the triangle OPQ, right? Another triangle, if you consider OPR, in that also we have OP the square is equal to OR square plus PR the square. These two are both are OP square, which means I can write it here, which means I can say OQ square plus PQ square is equal to OR square plus PR square. I'm equating right hand sides. Now, OQ square and OR square are the same because OQ is same as OR, both are radius. I can rewrite it as OQ square plus PQ square equal to, again, instead of OR square, I can write OQ square plus PR square. I can cancel both sides. PQ square is equal to PR square means PQ is equal to PR. This, this is another way of proving it using Pythagoras theorem. 